dear friends today we are going to discuss uh, on one of the most global problems in animal feed industry which is mycotoxicosis if we are into the poultry farming or dairy farming or piggery farming then mycotoxicosis can never be avoided therefore it is one problem which has to be prevented rather than thinking of its uh, treatment and these mycotoxins are often called as silent killer of the profits where they slowly narrow down the profit margins of any of the dairy farmers or poultry farmers and uh, the one most important thing which comes into picture is that the raw material prices are increasing nowadays and people are looking for some options for example the soybean prices are going up and people are looking for different raw materials for like barley so these are though they are cheap but they are often the sources of mycotoxins and they are more vulnerable to mycotoxicosis in comparison to soybean meal and similarly to maize so the raw material prices are also leading to the problem of mycotoxicosis globally one of the interesting fact about mycotoxins is that they are present as multiple forms in any feed stuff for example aflatoxins they also react with okra toxins or vomi toxins zearylenol so they have a combined synergistic effect and leads to many fold depression in the performance of the bird or a dairy cattle therefore a uh, need is there a mycotoxin characterization is required and moreover these mycotoxins are so stable that they cannot be destroyed even at very high temperature suppose if you are going for feed pelletization then also they are not able to be destroyed and uh, moreover there is no safe label of mycotoxins in feed though fao has suggested that if maybe 18 ppb or 20 ppb in the feed is having not any negative influence on the productivity of the bird however they get accumulated and uh, lead to destruction of the profits so what are the various ways available as of now to prevent mycotoxicosis there are basically three ways one is mold inhibition second is chemosorption and third is bio inactivation this mold inhibition is generally brought about by organic acids like propionic acid acetic acid these acids they tend to act and react in feed and depress the growth of further mycotoxins present in the feed in the form of fungus second is the chemosorption how the chemosorption is brought about it is basically by the uh, conventional clays which we call as hscs the full form of hscs is hydrated sodium calcium aluminosilicate these clays are basically responsible for the irreversible binding of the mycotoxins and third what the scientists propose is the bio inactivation of the mycotoxins through one of the most recognized and uh, biological ingredient which is mannan oligosaccharide but before choosing any of the mycotoxins binder in the world we have to look for certain parameters that what kind of mycotoxins will give you the best results suppose if we take about ingredients by ingredients for example hscs what should be the criteria of selecting hscs whether it is polarity because you know very well that mycotoxins are negatively charged except aflatoxins which are positively charged so they require some clays which has to be polar in nature to bind mycotoxins what is the size of the particle what is the ph value 
and what is the source of this HSCS whether they are from a family called phyllosilicates or they are from family called tectosilicates whether they have been evolved as a biological uh, eruptions or they have been evolved as a volcanic eruptions so these are also certain uh, parameters and guidelines which help to uh, select the perfect mycotoxin binders and moreover HSCS is one ingredient which is certified as grass by FAO and second comes the organic acids the main function of organic acid is to inhibit the growth of molds in the feed so thereby they act outside the body of the bird and uh, HSCS works inside the body of the bird or animal and the third way is to get the optimal performance from a mycotoxin binder is to have mannan oligosaccharide in it which is basically a prebiotic and serves as a source of food for the probiotics available in the intestinal system of the bird thereby it uh, improves the growth of the body and thereby increases the FCR, weight gain, muscle production, fat production so everything in totality will increase if we use and if we choose a prudent mycotoxin binder in feed there is one more thing which can be addressed at this point that the presence of dioxins these dioxins are basically the industrial contaminants which may lead to carcinogenicity, teratogenicity, embryo toxicity because these are also of importance of human mankind suppose a food is consumed by a lady which is pregnant and uh, the food which is consumed by her is having dioxins then these dioxins can even lead to uh, carcinogenicity and even the abortion may happen so they have the economic, socio-economic value of these products as well so as a part of a corporate social responsibility we always try to give the solutions which uh, will help to minimize any of the ill effects of the feed so we do have such product in our basket by the name of Willow Sin Z which is a combination of herbs which are synergistic herbs uh, giving the value for uh, performance and HSCS with polyvinyl pyrolidone and uh, organic acids these is a perfect synergy to give you the best results as far as the mycotoxicosis problems are concerned and uh, can be used efficiently to in order to generate more profits thank you